Hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mithun and in this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can record PowerPoint presentations or uh, keynote presentations using Loom web application. You can also use the Loom desktop application for the same, but it actually doesn't matter because the web application itself records the entire screen for you. So without any further delay, let's get started with this tutorial. On my screen, as you can see, I have the Loom website opened up and uh, uh, first thing that you need to do is uh, click on this get Loom for free button and uh, depending on the option or uh, your sign up process, you will be shown uh, different screens. But uh, for this tutorial, I have actually opened it in a incognito mode on my browser. So it is actually showing me to sign up. So if you have not actually signed up for this uh, web application, just click on the sign up with uh, Google or any other uh, account that you have right now and uh, click on this continue button. Once you complete the sign up process, you can uh, then log into loom.com, which is the web application version of the website. Uh, once you complete the sign up process, it will actually uh, start the app for you and uh, you don't have to like do anything after that. Uh, so in order to record your screen, first you need to make sure that uh, uh, everything is actually working with Loom. In order to uh, make sure that it is actually working, you need to click on this padlock icon that uh, your browser address bar shows. And then click on the site settings uh, option. In the site setting option, you will see that uh, the camera and microphone options are available and you can actually allow it by default or you can actually uh, enable the ask each time when you actually start up the wizard uh, and uh, reload this page once the setting is configured i recommend actually uh, doing this before you start recording because sometimes what happens is that uh, the application does not actually uh, show the pop-up window uh, that will let you enable the webcam and your uh, microphone at the same time so uh, as an added measure just enable these two things in the settings panel itself and it just takes a few seconds before i actually show you how it is done as you can see it is a pretty complicated uh, yet simple looking dashboard uh, that loom provides you with and that's the primary reason why i actually switched from loom to uh, pepo cloud pepo cloud is a wonderful uh, web application that has been around for quite a long time and I've been using it for the last seven months and uh, to be honest with you, I have uh, actually replaced a lot of my uh, desktop application with uh, Pepo Cloud because it offers so many features that these so-called uh, good enough uh, desktop applications come packed with. So if you are in search for a better application than Loom, uh, go check out Pepo Cloud. You will be happy with the quality and recording itself. Now. Once you actually, uh, now let's get started with this Loom tutorial. As you can see, um, uh, you can actually start the recording by actually installing the extension onto your web browser. If you do not have the extension, unfortunately, the screen recording may not work properly. So uh, make sure to install this browser extension on your Google Chrome browser or any other browser that you have. Once you have the extension, uh, in extension installed, click on the option that you uh, think is the best for the recording and then uh, click on the start recording button in the start recording button you will see that uh, it actually asks you to select the uh, option that you want to record for example you can either select the entire screen or the window or a particular chrome tab for this tutorials purpose i'm actually going to select the entire screen and then click on the share button as soon as I click on the share button, it will start recording the whole uh, screen. And now I can actually switch to my PowerPoint presentation and uh, get started with the narration and whatever I want to do in order to actually make the recording really interactive and uh, save it afterwards. This is just a dummy, uh, uh, what do you call PowerPoint presentation that I've downloaded before uh, actually starting this tutorial. So uh, let's do a bunch of things and uh, after that, I uh, just uh, click on the stop sharing button and boom. So it has been recorded and boom, it has been recorded. And uh, now I can use a few options like uh, trimming and uh, video preferences and uh, stuff like that to edit this uh, particular video stored in uh, Loom. But the problem is that uh, you cannot actually record more than five minutes per video if you are on the free account. If you want to actually do more 
you can actually uh, sign up for the business account but uh, that is a bit expensive for uh, just uh, screen recording software right so i wouldn't recommend uh, loom to people who actually want a uh, great value for money software or application that they can use to uh, record their screen and web application at the same time now as you can see uh, you can actually uh, share this recording with your friends uh, via email or anything but uh, i would have liked a download option also available as you can see there is a download button but it is not actually provided by loom in any way it is a google chrome browser extension that lets me download videos that i upload to my uh, google drive uh, in an advanced way so uh, as you can see there is no other option to actually download this video so that's a bit of a downside to using this on top of having so many limited features and most of them are actually uh, protected with paywall so you cannot actually add call to action you will have to upgrade you can also not change the thumbnail you will also have to upgrade for that in even the video preference you just have a bunch of uh, options that you don't really need right i haven't used any of these things in like forever so i don't see how anybody would find these things useful so uh, that's uh, one option uh, that uh, i i don't think is going to be really useful in many regards after you're done you can actually uh, share it with anybody and uh, that's pretty much it like uh, that's how simple it is to record the screen with uh, loom the quality of both the sound and the screen recording is just amazing there is no issue with that but the problem is the pricing structure and limited features available in the free option there are uh, web applications such as the pepo cloud that offers a lot more features even in the free option then it does not actually make sense to use loom in any way right so for that reason i still uh, think that uh, loom should be used by somebody who just needs a web application to record their screen for just once and uh, then they don't probably want to use anything like loom for uh, ever again or somebody who has just uh, who just wants to record a video of their screen for like two or three minutes because uh, if you want to record more than five minutes you will have to upgrade to the premium account so that was my tutorial on loom and how you can actually record your uh, powerpoint presentations and keynote presentations with uh, loom and uh, if you have any doubts uh, regarding this tutorial you can drop them in the comment section below if you want to see similar videos in future please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in my next tutorial till then take care and bye bye